So today I'm back to problematic heat pump that I repiped this whole plant room probably two months ago. There was a video about it you can watch here and I had problems with flow on this setup. So the manufacturers came in in the meantime and they changed the pump on the external unit and we used to have flow of about 1000 liters per hour. Now we're getting 1.2 thousand liters per hour. However, we need to run 2000 liters per hour. So I'm gonna check if there isn't a blockage in any of the components on the pipe work, just disassemble it and have a look and then maybe have a look at the external unit heat exchanger again because I tried to unblock it unsuccessfully. So I took this out, replaced with a bit of pipe, made no difference on the flow whatsoever. So we'll now flush the heat pump itself outside. I'm connected direct to the heat pump with the power flusher, hoping that we can unblock that heat exchanger. Let's see what happens. I started flushing through the heat pump and the water is brown, really dirty, just through the unit. That's probably a sign that it is, in fact, the heat exchanger on the unit that's blocked. So no chemicals in it just yet, have a look. a lot of dirty water coming just from the plate on the external unit. I've got a heat pump running now through just the power flusher because I want hot water because that FX2 will work so much faster. And let's hope we can unblock this heat pump. I got slightly impatient so decided to run on pure FX2. I've got 10 liters of it running now in that unit. It's been two hours now and looking at the color of the water, it's actually getting almost black. So it does feel like there is a lot of stuff blocking the plate inside that unit. The water coming from the unit is definitely filthy. But the flow seems to have improved as well. I've got a witness here. <laughs> We're now getting 1.8 cubic meters per hour going through the cylinder alone. So we know it definitely was a blocked plate heat exchanger. What we have to do now uh, is testing on heating and see what flow we get on heating. The unit has fired on heating now. And let's check the flow right now on heating. And on heating, we're getting 1.75 cubic meters per... 2.4! No way! 2.4! Look! That is what I need, exactly what I want. Actually, more than I want for this 12 kilowatt unit. That's, well, it's called 17, but it's really a 12 kilowatt unit at minus 2. And finally, I'm getting excellent flow rate. They're going to get beautiful DT on their design temperature on full output at 12 kilowatts and hopefully a super super efficient system.